What's up everybody? Nice to see you back. Welcome back again to Exotic Astrology again and today we will discuss on some business management and investment lessons from the Ramayana. <laughs> not from MBA books, not from business, not from management, not from investment books but from the good old ancient Vedic scripture, the Ramayana. The word Ramayana comes from the word Ram and Ayan means journey. So Ramayana is basically the journey of Lord Ram. And who wrote it? Yes, we all know that. It was written by the great, great, great sage Valmiki Muni himself under the instruction of the creator Lord Brahma himself. If you are new to the channel, then please subscribe to it below or maybe somewhere in the corner. <laughs> and if you want a personal consultation from me, then please approach me in my website. The link to that is also there below. And before I start, I always say God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So today's story is on management lessons, where to invest and where not to invest. <laughs> from the Ramayana and here I will be telling uh, about the famous pastime of Lord Ram, Lakshman and Sita Devi with Kevat. So to give a basic overview of the story, what happened was Lord Ram was the son of Dashrat Maharaj. He was exiled for 14 years to go to the forest by his stepmother Kekai because she wanted her son Bharat to sit in the throne and therefore Kekai told his father Bharat, uh, Dashrat Maharaj that you had once given me two boons now I am asking these two boons the first boon is Bharat should be the king not Ram and Ram has to go to the forest for 14 years and then Dashrat Maharaj being a Chatriya a great warrior a great king paying heed and reverence to this tradition of the Chatriyas of never letting a vow getting to be proven false. He had to adhere to the word which he gave to his wife KK. And then Lord Ram was banished to the forest for 14 years in exile. And then Bharat Maharaj, his stepbrother, was entrusted in the throne. So what happens is, in those 14 years, Lord Ram goes to different places in India, especially in the north and so many other places. And then he meets a lot of different sages like Shatabal, Sutikshan and so many, Agastya Rishi, so many sages. As he keeps going to the different areas, different forests where the great sages and saints would reside. And in that, between that, there comes a story of a person who was a boat, boating man who used to take people from one part of the shore to the other part of the shore. His name was Kevat. So this Kevat, he was a great admirer and a devotee of Lord Ram. He was a very highly elevated spiritual personality. Very high, very, very, very high. <clears throat> Much higher than all the great sages and saints. He always used to think of Lord Ram because he knew Lord Ram is none other than the Supreme Personality of Godhead himself, Vishnu himself. Therefore, he always wanted a chance to offer some service to Lord Ram and he had this desire. But then he had no idea how will his desire get fulfilled. But Lord Ram, as Lord Krishna says, Ishvara Sarva Bhutanam Riddesh Arjuna Tishthati Ramayam Sarva Bhutanam Yantra Rudha Nimahiya I am seated in the heart of every living entity. Oh my dear Arjuna. <laughs> so Lord Ram is in the heart of everybody and also in the heart of Kevat. So he understood the desire of Kevat and then in no time, he reached where Kevat was doing his daily job of bringing people from this side of the river to that side. 
he was a boatman by profession basically so then sitaram and lakshman they went to kevat and then they said to him my dear kevat please take us from this side to the other to that show and then kevat said yes i will definitely take you but i have one condition if you fulfill that only then i will take you. <laughs> then lord ram asked yes my dear kevat what is your condition please tell me i will try my best to fulfill it then kevat said i will take you in my boat for the only condition is you cannot put your feet in the boat all right which means your feet have to hang in the air it cannot touch the boat and then lakshman the brother of lord ram he was furious lakshman said who the hell are you to tell like this to my brother that don't put your feet there if he doesn't put his feet how will he get inside <laughs> he said don't worry about that i will catch him and put him in the boat but he cannot touch the boat with his feet because it's very risky <laughs> and then lakshman was getting more and more angry and lakshman said what nonsense are you speaking how dare you speak like that we will not sit in your boat we will go to some other boat what is the problem if my brother puts his feet in your boat <laughs> then kevot says it is very risky <laughs> don't you remember what happened when he had put his feet the last time over a stone and then lakshman starts smiling <laughs> the way i am smiling now maybe much more than that he was smiling so then uh, what happened actually see once when ram and lakshman were going with the great sage vishwamitra muni then what happened is there was one lady ahalya who was the wife of the great sage gautam rishi and due to some reason she was cursed by gotam rishi gotam rishi had cursed her that you will become a stone we will discuss on that story some other time but gotam rishi then when ahilya apologized to him for her offense then gotam rishi blessed her that okay don't worry you meditate upon lord vishnu here as a stone but when lord vishnu comes in the form of lord ram then what happens then you will get a chance to uh, purify yourself and then you will know who you are in reality and that's what happened and then when lord ram and lakshman came with vishwamitra muni he saw that there's this storm and then vishwamitra muni told lord ram that go and place your feet over the stone and then when lord ram did that what happened that stone turned into ahilya and after that she went back to the spiritual world she was delivered because the whole time when she was uh, in that stone she was only thinking of god all the time and by that she was delivered there you see so that's what kevat said that it is very risky to uh, let you put your feet in my <laughs> boat because i don't know who this boat will turn into <laughs> indirectly he was telling that your feet are so great that even if you touch it somebody appears from there <laughs> so i cannot take the risk because if that happens in mid of the river somebody will appear and we will all sink down we will all die <laughs> and then uh, he said yes then lord ram said okay i agree to your condition and then um, they boarded him along with sita devi and lakshman and then they started going 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 going, going. <laughs> and then they reached the end of the shore and then lord ram asked what should i give you you have done service to me i must give you something and then kevat said 
No, 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 no. I don't need anything. Anyways, our profession is the same, so we will not accept. Uh, I will not accept anything from you. When Lakshman heard this, he was, he took out his sword and he was ready to chop off the head of this kevat. And then Lord Ram said to him, hold on Lakshman, hold on. <laughs> hold on, don't get angry. And Lakshman said, how dare you call, don't you know who he is? He is Lord Ram, he is the prince of Ayodhya and you, you are a... You're simply a boatman. You think that you both have the same profession? Is there any comparison? How can even there be comparison? Where he is and where are you? How dare you speak like this? Your life will not be spared today. Today you shall meet death, Lakshman said. I do not care whoever says what. Today I will take my sword and I will rip your head apart. For saying this. And Lord Ram said, Calm down, peaceful. <laughs> and then, Kivot said, Obviously, I am right. Of course, we have the same profession. Because, what is my profession? My profession is to make people cross the river of water from one side to the other. And what is your profession? Your profession is to make a living entity cross the ocean of material existence, the Bhav Sagar. So that, therefore you are also a boatman. <laughs> and therefore, we have the same profession. There you see. But now the question is, where is the MBA lesson here? The lesson is coming now. <laughs> then Kevart said, I am a very clever businessman. I am a very shrewd businessman. I am very intelligent. Therefore, I know where to invest and where not to invest. <laughs> because a intelligent, a shrewd, a cunning businessman will only invest where he is having the confidence that I will get the maximum returns. Otherwise, he or she will not invest it. Yes, because he might lose money. But Kevart said, I am very intelligent. I am the best businessman out here. So I know where to invest. So I will only invest in you, my dear Lord Ram, because I know that is the only place where I will get the maximum returns. I will not invest in a woman. I will not invest in a man. I will not invest in my child. I will not invest that much in anybody. That amount which I will invest in you. I will invest in everybody, but my maximum investment will go towards you only. And then Lord Ram smiled and Lord Ram blessed him. And Kevot attained the perfection of human life. He attained full spiritual perfection, although he was already spiritually perfect. So there you go, the MBA lesson from uh, the past time of Ramayan, which is the place that you are supposed to invest the most, that is Lord Ram himself, which means God is the person or the place where you are supposed to put maximum of your time, your energy, your investment, your efforts, which goes to tell us that God should be the number one priority of our lives, which goes to tell us that the most important things in our life should be dedicated to him. For example, which is the most important time of the day? It's the morning, right? Because that time uh, we are very positive and we are very much in uh, that mood of doing certain things. So that is the time we should meditate. We should do spiritual practices. That is the time we should give to God. All right. <laughs> that is what I wanted to say. And when you do that, you will get unlimited returns because that is what is taught in the business school, right? Invest there where you get the maximum returns. And if you invest in other people, if you invest in a man or in a woman or in anybody, then you may get returns for some time, but everything will fall short very soon. Now, this does not mean that you don't get married or you cannot be in a relationship. It doesn't mean that. It simply means that the prime focus of your life has to be 
Lord Ram himself. Otherwise, you may not get the best of returns. All right, that is it from my side. If you are new to this channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you want a consultation, then approach me in my website below and mail me accordingly. Until next time, wish you good luck with your investments. Bye-bye. <laughs> See you.